Hey guys, so we are back with another one. We've got Michael here. I'll show you the image we're working with. So obviously we're gonna be bringing out all the green tones, then bringing out those oranges to make the subject pop. Like you can see in lots of these other images that the greens and the oranges really, really pop. And there's a lot of warmth throughout the entire image, especially in all of these recent shots. Those oranges are really, really standing out and warmth in the mid-tones. Now I am using one of his pre sets for this tutorial and you guys can get the settings for this tutorial by looking out for the code that pops up the top left so here's an example so don't skip the video you'll see that code pop up use that code to go over to his preset store and you can download the settings for this tutorial everyone inside of the course gets access to the raw file dng and the settings so if you're inside the course you just download that and follow along, play around with that raw file. We'll be linking up his presets as well. To be honest, I think they're pretty good. I personally really like his editing. I think his editing is great. So I'll be linking these up for you guys as well. And there is a limited time discount. So use this code. Also the settings that you download is for a limited amount of time. So you're gonna have to look out for that code if you want. All right, so we have our image over here and his image over here there's actually not a huge amount to do to this image just lined up the horizon and the eyes there for four by five and then as for settings f2 135 millimeters the shutter double your focal length good 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 well exposed the sony g master 135 i think will enable profile corrections just to start off straight away exposure down a bit what we'll do is turn the curves on now curves is from his preset this is his curves so as you can see uh, a little bit of extra blue in the shadows that's how we get these bluey tones uh, less blue in the mid tones and yeah that's the curves there and then not too much going on in this curve pretty straight tweak it a little bit if we wanted but we've kept it pretty straight, dropping that white point just a touch. That crushed or well, darkened our blacks quite a bit. So let's just up the shadows so we can see a bit more. Same with the blacks, just to see a bit more. Highlights for flatness. Okay, maybe a bit more contrast. Clarity for that softness he has to his image touch of vibrance for some extra color pop but we obviously need to do quite a bit of work in the hs cell and split turning so we want all these blues that he has towards green so it's pretty obvious we need blues in the shadows we're gonna go shadows gonna go for a nice teal in here and then out there and then we'll put a warmth like we get these bluey greens down here and then we get these quite warm greens up top here so in the highlights we are going to put in a nice reddish orange or a strong red it's pretty minimal at the moment five so we want these blue tones to really affect our image so let's slide that to the right so saturation so obviously like drop the greens the yellows which has a lot of greens we want our subject and the oranges to pop so let's just bring that out a bit with the reds um luminance shine and stuff like that let's bring some shine in all right let's deepen these oranges to give a richness to the oranges um, blues not really any blues in here all right so back up to hue so this is where we're going to start get our tones a lot so we need to warm up these greens a ton they're just looking way too blue and then yellows oranges to the left reds don't have many reds um, yellows this way again to get this lighter yellow still 
and then we're going to come in with filters so it's quite obvious that it's really dark down the bottom here um, so we're going to come in with filters to brighten that sort of stuff up blues because we've got so much blue in the shadows we don't really need it in this but we don't have much of it in this image uh, aquas not much there's not many blues in this image uh, if we just come back to the yellows it's just not make them so green okay good aquas not in the image okay so now we just need to like brighten our subject um, dark in the bottom we need one down the bottom pretty obvious so we want to guide our eye up to the subject so let's just drop the exposure a lot if I press O that's where it's affecting so let's drop this um, people sometimes do this like we don't want people looking down the bottom so you can drop like texture clarity and then just give a softness to it again by dropping dehaze and then that looks really good we get this nice uh, foreground now um, just drop. and then another obvious one is up top we need way more brightness up the top here so uh, yeah so pressing O this is where it's affecting turn it off and then we just go exposure up and then let's do the same with the texture clarity and then even some warmth just because this is going to be the highlights so we'll make the highlights warm back up in here I'm just going to bring up the whites we just need more pop to the to the brighter areas blacks even yeah we'll bring up blacks and even the shadows to make things a bit brighter okay so just one other brush so if we just grab this brush click here if I press O this is where it's affecting so pretty much just the entire subject especially the front so what we want to do here is just like bring out the colors of the subject so it's just up the warmth here and then to give it more reds you give it more purples so that will bring in more rich tones um, look pretty good so to wrap things up let's go reset that's the before that's the after so way more dreamy quite a bit warmer as well uh, way way better lighting as well by darkening the foreground brightening uh, up above bringing out all those greens because of uh, split toning put those blues in there so those greens are going very blue and then obviously making all the oranges pop and the HSL again here is reset bang all right guys so remember if you're part of the course you have access to the raw image the settings the dng for this tutorial so you can use it and practice like different styles we've got heaps of guest editors where you can try to take their style and put it on say michael Hare's image and stuff like that that's what i do i practice with all these really good raw images i create new presets and new looks because i've got access to all these really good raw images different styles so many different styles we're learning course and if you haven't checked that out already just it'll be down in the description and you can have a look through all the guest editors we've got so how the course is structured and broken down is that i teach you guys everything i know about doing these tutorials so the working with color in depth about the tools and then once you have a really good understanding of the tools and color and contrast then we get into our guest editors really awesome lessons from all these guest editors that teach you exactly how they do it and you'll understand and be able to follow them because i've taught you what i know about editing as well so if you like these youtube tutorials you will love 
the course hope to see you guys in there keep commenting people down below of these videos who you want to see uh, helps me really 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 find uh, other people to invite to be on this YouTube channel